look now at some uh, other stories in the headlines today. A man who murdered his ex-girlfriend's two-year-old son has been jailed for life. Kyrell Matthews was left with over 40 rib fractures and internal injuries after weeks of cruelty. Kimar Brown will serve a minimum term of 25 years. His mother, uh, Felicia Shirley, was jailed for 13 years for manslaughter. The organisation that represents London's local authorities is warning homelessness could be on the rise. London Council says a 28% reduction in local authority funding to help those at risk of homelessness, along with a cost of living crisis, will force more people into temporary accommodation. A government spokesperson said they're spending over £2 billion to prevent homelessness. Transport for London is looking to increase the number of shops and cafes on its sites. It's planning to use empty spaces on the transport network and as well as giving businesses the chance to make profits, it's hoping to generate more money itself. A case of a rare viral illness called Crimean Congo hemorrhagic is being treated at the Royal Free Hospital in Hampstead. A woman had recently travelled to Central Asia where she contracted the tick bite infection. The disease doesn't spread easily between people, meaning the risk to the public is said to be low.